Okay, now we have the fire extinguisher. Boy, how often did people around me carry that thing screaming like babies? Uh, it's too heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter, though, because I'm always cautious. Now, you will notice that this wooden panel, you may not have noticed, but that slides out when we become a fire department. So, work gloves? <laughs> Gizmo is such a wimp. Okay, we also have this hole in the hatch. Now, if something were placed in that, it couldn't slide back in. There's a hole in the platform. <laughs> I have my own personal echo. Okay. Now, down the fire escape, and I did all this, we find that we are here. So we can get underneath to get that lock pick if we could find a way to block that Jesus. hole. Or block the floor from sliding, is my point. Okay. There's no flight risk. There's pick no him up. Oh, risk. he did pick him up. Sorry. Well, if the fetters weren't so wide, I could attach them to the hole over there. Ah, but they are too wide. Okay, these fetters are too wide, but we have access to handcuffs. But they're in the uh, the balance. But this will flip up there and might. <laughs> Yeah, it might just <laughs> knock them out of the uh, scale. I'm sorry about this. It's never happened to me before, you know. I guess you make video. Oh, Lord, I had some problems with Minecraft because of a Java program. And You're there right. you go. <laughs> the crime rate has risen significantly over the past few years. Since round about my 18th birthday, luckily there's been almost no juvenile delinquents since then. Well, there you go. Okay. Now we have the handcuffs. Now I've got some pretty... Oh, crud. We need to... Never mind. We don't want the handcuffs. We want to go... Crud. I can't remember which one. I think we want to go down. Please push the lever down. Yes, we want to go down. And, I mean, who doesn't? So, now, to the hatch. There's a hole in the platform. Ah, uh, I thought he'd have had something new there. All right, let's see. Okay, now, what we want to do is we want our jail cell back. Eh. Oh, crud, do we? Yeah, because we need to go out and go around. It just goes to show you, I don't have a memory. <laughs> to the bat cave. Bye, Hannock. Fortunately, I, I took a little, little stop in the action, and, uh, and what we're going to do is shitting up the pole and get back in there. I took a little break in the action, so the footage after this is fine, and i am just got my fingers crossed about this. Loser. There he goes. And... Finally, I'm on the right side of the bars. Yeah, a lot of people feel that way about you, Rufus. And if they could just fix that hole. <laughs> there. It moved. Why oh, you, you blinking? Putts. Oh, I didn't. I'm the putts this time. Okay. Oops. Does he? No, he doesn't have it in his hand. And, well, and he shouldn't have it in his hand. I told you, I just can't do this with the instructions. Okay, oh yeah, I haven't been to the right place. And to the doctor's cabinet. Ugh, I hate syringes. Luckily, I've developed an immunity to tetanus. 
Evidently, he's wearing. I've only ever been oh, injected crap. right into the heart muscle so far. Okay. Uh, he wondered what it tastes like, I believe. I don't know if you can freeze frame on that or not. I'm sorry about that. Okay, I think that is everything we can do here at this time. I guess we're supposed to remember the tree. All right, what I did with him, what we did then, Hannock has the same old, uh, wait a minute. Hello again. Hey, uh, um, Rufus. Exactly. Actually, I have a save past that, so it doesn't really matter. Ah, do you have any idea? This may be damaged. Okay, do you have any idea where I can get water that's rich in energy? Remember, that's not our recipe. Do you have any idea recipe. where I can get water that's rich with energy? Mm, very often, we find batteries in the junk. Those are always filled with some kind of liquid. We call it battery soda <laughs> because it's got that fizz when it touches the tongue. Is that what you mean? So you're drinking the, uh, uh, the stuff out of the later. batteries. See you, uh, Rufus. Exactly. Okay. And what I did from here was I headed down the, uh, Tony, I think, had a coffee maker. She had water. I know there's, you know, it's it's cruddy water, but I was going to head down there and see what I could come up with there. And that footage, I think, is all fine. So I'm going to call it a day on this and uh, move on to the next bit. Okay, I forgot to turn fraps on, but I haven't walked away. All I'm doing is looking at this recipe. And uh, hot beans, the way to lower... Is it Lonzo? Lonzo has it looks like a chili pepper. And I think there are chili peppers growing outside of uh, his house, his apartment. The oh. Any idea what hot beans are supposed to be? Oh, okay. There, oh, there it is. I was looking for the get back thing. Um... I want to get to his house. Okay, I guess his house is Tony's shop. Well, wait. Why am I seeing... Oh. Oh, I guess that points to there. Come on, Rufus, old buddy, old pal. Now, while well, the peppers aren't here, where are... Looks like Tony's in her store. If I go in now, her taunting remarks will shower down on me like a hailstorm. Ah, uh, well, what the heck. Let's get this over with. So where the heck is his apartment? Well, well, well. Look who's back. If it isn't Damn. Evil Knievel, the man who defied gravity, <laughs> the conqueror of the sky, the wind jockey, the traveler on his way to the upper spheres, and yet... Here he stands, right in front of me. Who thought? Believe it or not, this time I really made it. I was on board an Organon cruiser. Its destination, Elysium. And then the longing for me became too much to bear. I had to choose a life of eternal bliss, which means far away from you, or saving a beautiful Elysian girl from a horrible death. <laughs> yeah, right. Rufus is doing a selfless deed. I would love to laugh but my belly's still aching from when you were dragged through the junk. I'll show you. <laughs> I'll wake the girl, and she'll take me to Elysium, and then you'll be sorry. You'll all be sorry. Uh, what the hell? Oh, she's got stuff about the, uh, the post office, and... Oh, and coffee. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. Um... Uh, before we do that, though, he sh Tony's kind of hot, too. I think Rufus is just uh, clumsy. How's business? Like, uh, when did that interest you ever? Who says I take an interest? I'm just being extremely polite. <laughs> First and foremost, you have an extremely distorted view of yourself. Well, that's because my reflection in the mirror is so blindingly bright. Oh! Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why so cranky? Why? You have destroyed my mailbox, 
devastated my backyard, <laughs> gobbled down all my food supplies, and if I find out that the disappearance of my favorite pair of boots is connected in any way to the construction of your ridiculous escape pod, may God have mercy on your soul. I had to carry the black powder in some kind of vessel, didn't I? What? Uh, nothing. Black powder? I'd like to buy something. With what? Or did you get a job recently that I don't know anything about? Well, I'll pay you back. Really? Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! I wanted to say goodbye before I leave this dump. New escape plans, have we? You are deluded. You'll never get out of here. Never, ever, ever. And that means I'll have you on my back for the rest of my life. Well, that's a position. What are those vouchers? They're gift vouchers. You hand them in at the post office, and they deliver the merchandise. Cool. I'll take them. Hey, hands off! What? They don't come free. I thought they were gift vouchers. Ugh. I'll get back to that one. The first aid cabinet is locked. What? Did you injure yourself oh. again? He oh, got yeah. that, though. Too didn't bad. He? You know what? Tell me when you have. I'll have a good long laugh, and then I'll give you the key. Oh, there must... Oh, inside the house, I think. You wouldn't have some coffee somewhere around here, would you? Since you've been staying with me, I've only had decaf. And even that is too strong. Maybe I should finally get rid of the coffee grinder. It's just using up space, like you. Coffee grinder. What was that again about the gift vouchers? They're gift vouchers. You hand them in at the post office, and they deliver the merchandise. And no, you can't have them as a gift. Then why are they called gift vouchers? I need some ingredients. If there's nothing in the fridge, you won't be getting anything else. No. I mean... End of discussion. Start earning your own money, and you'll be able to buy your own food. I wonder if we've got the drought. What was that again here. about the gift vouchers? They're gift vouchers. Nah. You hand them in at the post office. And no, you can't have them as a gift. Then why are they called gift vouchers? <laughs> gotta go. <sighs> I've been saying that for years, but here you still are. Okay, what's... there's a pole? This is where Tony's budgie cage used to hang, but he couldn't cope with her, so he skedaddled. He died of old age. Yeah, whatever you say. After you accidentally infected him with progeria. Y you know, I like my version better. Can he take it? No. Oh, the vouchers. What was that again about the gift vouchers? <laughs> They're gift vouchers. You hand them in at the post office, and no, you can't have... Then why are they called... Hey, stop it! What exactly are you trying to pull off? I just thought it'd be good to take some of these mail-order coupons with me. Then I can use them to send all my friends on Deponia some uh, hooks and uh, lead weights, obviously, uh, just like it says on these vouchers. Okay. First of all, you don't have any friends. You are a self-centered egomaniac who doesn't give a bleep about anybody apart from himself. Besides, what makes you think you could just walk in here and take things from my store? Couldn't I just pay you later? Pay me later? Pay me later? How the heck are you going to pay me back, smartass? Or did you finally, after all these years, get a real job? Did you? Well, not exactly, but... Isn't it enough? That I still let you live at my place? That I still feed you? And I guess you think you're thanking me by letting me get rid of all the junk and garbage you produce every day. Why am I still putting up with this? I mean, really, why do I still do it? It's not like we're still... Oh, this sucks! My blood pressure! I have to meditate. Breathe in. Breathe out. Steal. Um... Hands off. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what else is here? Good grief! Ah, terrific. The rotten smell from Sector 9 isn't so disgusting today. 
Nothing I can do with it, huh? Oh, Maybe the grinder. Crumb left. Seems like I have to find my own ingredients. Oh, okay. So that's the grinder when we need it. That's the crank, which is yeah, that's kind of irrelevant until we have the grinder, I think. Okay, what else is here? Stuff. Weights, anchors, metal boots. Hooks, all the things you need if you want to stay moored forever. Not a stuff kind of guy. Let's see. Weights, anchors, metal boots, hooks, all okay. the things you need. Ah, ouch! Hey! <laughs> um. Ah. Um. <laughs> She's giggling. <laughs> ouch! Look at that! <laughs> oh, such a tiny wound, and what a great pleasure! That is to say, wait a minute, you dirty rat! Did you try and steal hooks from me again? Tony, please, I'm bleeding to death here! If there was even the slightest bit of hope that you'll ever learn from your mistakes, I'd say, suit yourself. But unfortunately, you've proven once too often that you'll never learn. So here you go, just take the key for the first aid kit and get out of my store! Okay, well, that's something. If you didn't nag all the time, maybe I'd be able to listen to what you're saying for a change. 